new snakes. Finally got the uh, Nike Metcon. This is the Nike Metcon 2. I got a neutral color so that I could basically wear them with everything. Um, but I plan on getting some of their really cool colors as well because I really like them. Um, so yeah, good morning. Friday, January 6th, I think. Oh my god, it's almost my dad's birthday. I can't forget that. So yeah, I just got these shoes in yesterday. I wore them yesterday to the gym, but I did shoulders, so that doesn't really count. I'm doing legs today, so I'm going to wear them. And I will give you guys a review, but so far, I think they're pretty legit. Like, they're flat, and you feel like way more balanced than in regular shoes, but they're not so flat like Converse are really uncomfortable, and they actually hurt my feet, which is why I don't like wearing them. My hair is crazy. I gotta fix that, but... So yeah, I'm definitely gonna get some more. And right now, they got a bunch on sale. I just got the gray ones just so that they match with everything. Um, Cause I didn't want to buy like a crazy colored one and then one wear them like every day. Um, yeah, really like them. This girl on Instagram that I actually met before at my last show, um, I follow her. I think I follow her. If not, I like stalk her without following her. That's weird. Yvette Garcia, she lives in San Antonio and she has like a million pairs of these and I've been wanting them forever and I keep seeing her like every time I see her wearing them, I'm like, I gotta order a pair. I gotta order a pair. So pretty excited, really like them and yeah, let's get the day started. Let's get the day started, peeps. Three, two, uno. Listen up, y'all, cause this is it. The beat that I'm banging is. Alright. Icon meals. And I got myself a whole bunch of already prepped chicken so I can stay caught up and tons of prepped meals, mostly for Ashton because my meal plan's kind of specific at the moment. Just kick it to you, have some fun on a rondo, I'll give it to you, but baby, don't get it twisted. You was just another nigga on the hit list, trying to fix the issues with a bad bitch. Didn't they tell you that I was a savage? Fuck your white horse and a carriage, but you never could imagine. Never so you can have it. You need me. Ooh, you need. All right, you guys. So we're gonna try something really different. We did the shoulder workout together, me and Ashton, and I. Wanted to do a commentary over it, but I didn't necessarily want to talk too much about the actual um, workout itself. So, you know, I don't know. I just wanted to have a conversation. Thought I would bring Ashton in, and uh, this is his pretend microphone, because he says he has to have a microphone to really get into the zone. So we're gonna go ahead and start the playback here. All right, you guys, so welcome to this commentary. This is the shoulder workout Ashton and I did together. Ashton's actually in the commentary with me. Hello. <laughs> anyway, so we started with this nice little superset. I always like to say to start with rear delts because a lot of people leave them for last and then that's your, your weakest moment. And if you're trying to build your rear delts, you want to start with your rear delts. Anything you have to say, pow pow? Um, from a man's standpoint, when working out with a female, you usually want to try to be masculine and do more weight. <laughs> Uh, this is one of those muscle groups where uh, actually maybe less weight was a better way to go about it. Are you trying to say that maybe you were a little shocked when I was doing a lot of weight and you were like, that's only three pounds less than me? Well, generally, I always try to double your weight, a minimum. Probably should do more, but in this case, my little guys are a little weaker back there. <laughs> We can also look at the camera over here. Um, so yeah, there were a few instances where I actually started uh, pulling more weight than, or pushing more weight. We were doing upright rows um, later on in the video and I basically did as much as he did. That's which incorrect. Is, which was pretty, yes I did. I did like 30 pounds. We got it on video. Yeah, no we didn't get it on video. This is So these are the upright rows. I started with a really lightweight, I think I was doing 20s on the first set and we did four sets. So we did both arms together and then we did each arm individually. Basically, I'm trying to lift as heavy as possible 
until failure every single time. Just really fatigue the muscle to promote growth. Um, so with these, I just went, keeping my form. Did I keep my form best? Yeah, good. Okay, I kept my form. I think I did the 27.5s for the heaviest. Then we went on to this crazy superset, which is just lat raises. And then you're gonna do each arm individually after this, twice. So basically, burning them out. It's really important that you feel it in your shoulders, and you can also feel it in your traps, but you wanna to try to avoid your uh, lats and then maybe your forearms from taking a lot yep, of the weight. Your rear lats. So yeah, so if you're feeling it a lot in your neck or you feel like your traps are growing, then that's because on shoulder and back days, you're going too heavy and you're not relaxing that, the neck muscle here. So you need to relax this area here, relax all the tension that you put here and then lower the weight and then focus more on your form because that's usually what ends up happening. I'm a pretty strong guy. Um, I do 20s if I really want to be under control. You can try 25s, but you lose your form. Um, so yeah, what did we do next? That was, my shoulders were dead, like for real though. Oh, plate raises. I love plate raises and we did a, a drop set on these, so heavy. And I didn't get it on film, but I actually picked up the 45 pound one on my last set. It was totally sloppy and like, I think my biceps took over a bit, but I did it for six reps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty tough. And this was like the last exercise we did. I was, my arms were super dead. Look at this dude with the, <laughs> in the back. <laughs> what the fuck was he wearing? <laughs> and there's Ashton. Your muscles are getting really lumpy. Lumpy? Yeah, like, you know, you look lumpy. What does that mean? Like, like you have a lot of muscles. Lumpy's not the word. No, like when a guy starts to look lumpy like that, like watch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scan Aesthetic through your back. Aesthetic is maybe the word. Aesthetic means you're pretty. Um, this is like look look at all these little lumps. You've got the lumpiness going on Well, that just means you have more defined muscles on this workout. It's very important to concentrate on your front deltoids uh, As you come down you can Actually give a little pause and then go back up and don't forget to stretch. I stretch at the end I'm actually really dedicating a lot of time to stretching at the end. So I do yeah. not stretch You don't stretch at all um, That's Drink your BCAs. Thank you guys for um, watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the workout and our like commentary duo. I was hoping Ashton's personality would come out more, but I think we're not, we have to be talking about sports or something. Or maybe like 55 minutes after uh, taking a one ounce kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Give <me> time. <laughs> Personality, I was trying to give them a, a review and, and also teach them at the same time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not like comedian. Oh. <laughs> what? A chameleon? Is that what you're saying? A comedian. Oh, a chameleon. <laughs> I thought you were saying a chameleon, like the little lizard. That would work too. <laughs> Okay, well, anyway, that's the end of this vlog. Thank you guys for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. You should definitely give it a go. Um, and you can actually just do your own exercises. Just the point is to wear your muscle down. So lift heavy, go until failure. So pick the exercises you like the best and just focus on going until failure until you literally can't go anymore and then do one more rep. If you can find a partner, it helps tremendously, especially one that if they don't talk your ear off and treat you like a therapist. Oh, sorry. It helps. Um, try to stay on a time frame. 55 minutes is a good time frame. That means you didn't waste your time talking and you, you probably Kept burned pace. your muscles well. Um, it's 59 degrees in here, which is why I'm wearing all this stuff. It's cold. <laughs> we give it cold in the house. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more commentaries with me and Ashton. And uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you guys in the next one. Is there any sign off that you want to say? Good night. Good luck. I was good on my own. That's the way it was. That's the way it was. You was good.